We're in Goa and it's the evening and we thought we would come out specifically and have a drink to two friends that have died in the last week. It was a bit weird. Uh, a few days ago, Chris was sitting in our room and I came back and he says, Roger's just died and I said, and I've just found out Julie's just died. So I think that's one of the weird things about traveling that I hadn't really thought about was that people die, frankly, while you're away. And I guess I kind of slightly miss being part of, well, going to the funeral and saying goodbye. Uh, so yeah, I guess we just wanted to come down here, have a drink to our friends and acknowledge that that was a bit of a downside of traveling that we haven't even anticipated. So here's a drink. See you, Roger. And Julie. Kakite. Hi, here we are in Goa and um, this morning we've been hearing the news of the shootings in Christchurch and uh, we've been intermittently in tears and I'm a little angry, Helen doesn't feel like she's angry. Uh, I'm sort of feeling like how dare they to do this. When we come to places like this in India and we see mosques and uh, Hindu legends and everybody is so friendly and nice and the only way I can think about it I suppose is, is education, these people need education that uh, you know, people of different religions and different countries are not the bogeymen and it's just, it's just nuts so um, it makes me want to teach more I suppose and share my experiences the good people around the world and hopefully that will make a difference in people's lives that they don't ever think that they want to take up arms against a particular race or religion. We've come here today in Goa as a sort of a sign of solidarity with our Kiwis in Christchurch. Today is... It's been a poo day. It's been a rubbish day and uh, we felt like the earthquakes, the earthquakes was a natural phenomenon, whereas what's happened today is something personal and somebody's taken something personal against our fellow Kiwis and uh, I feel very sad about that. And I don't know what we're going to do here, but I just felt like I wanted to come to a mosque and if I could say at least to one person that it's not about everybody and we feel pain for Muslim people too. So I don't know what might not happen, but just being here is what I wanted to do. So we just, we just nabbed the first poor bloke that came out of the mosque. Not sure if he's totally understood what we were trying to say, but anyway, we were trying to convey our love to him. The fact that we were from Christchurch, and I don't know whether he really understood it, but I don't know really what I expected. But I wanted to come here, and that I've come here, and I've spoken to somebody and said my love, and it makes me emotional. Hey, cheers! Cheers! Mojitos remind me of that. <laughs> A better day today than yesterday. Went to get breakfast ready this morning. Look down on the table. I knew it wasn't really a snail, but I couldn't quite get my head around what it was. It's the entrails. And Chris told me what it was. And I realised it was true, so we're just getting rid of this on the table before we have our breakfast. I just want to have yogurt and music for my breakfast. I can go to yoga. I don't want to have to deal with this. Just down there. 
<laughs> One of the unique things about our room in Goa, which we've never had before, is that we have a tree growing through our roof. Okay, so I didn't want a strong kingfisher tonight, so I um, had the fenny. And the fenny is a local liquor, and he said it's really, really strong. So I don't know why I went for this, but uh, it comes with uh, limca. You put limca into it. So it's a strong homemade liquor with a sickly sweet lemon juice. And um, it stinks. I'm not sure it's, it tastes, smells good. It's sort of like um, just very strong alcohol. And this is made out of cashew nuts. Uh, it really tastes of the limca, which is sweetly lemon juice. And um, I can feel it warm in my ears already. <laughs> um, well, Chris is having a liquor. I'm having a tonic water. But the reason for actually pointing this out was the fact that I am going demented with the number of straws. I think I might have actually said this beforehand, but like everything comes in a straw. Plastic, plastic everywhere. I want to get my own straw and I also want to remember to say no straws. I never thought it was going to come in a bottle like this. Go in speciality, coconut veg shakuti with rice. Christopher has got garlic naan and a mushroom masala. Uh, and as we've discovered, curry is not curry in okay. India. They call what we call curry, as in wet, they call that gravy. So it's a gravy base, means it's wet. And that's what we keep calling a curry. So when we first started off here, we confused everybody. We're kind of learning. And actually this is a North Indian dish, but we've had it all the way through. It's probably what we would associate most with curries. I don't know if this is going to taste any different to any other curry we've had. Well, I'm glad I didn't have it very spicy, because that's definitely got a kick. I have a mushroom masala. In the UK and New Zealand, uh, you normally have rice with a meal. In India, uh, they just give you the uh, curry or the wet gravy and then you'd have a bread with it. Uh, so rice is normally just a biryani. Uh, Helen has had rice tonight, so that's the only reason I've got rice there tonight. Um, my uh, mushroom masala is more tomatoey based than Helen's. Um, I asked for it, not very spicy. He told me it wasn't very spicy. Uh, it's, it's pretty warm. <laughs> Here I'm sat in a cafe on the beach in Goa and uh, I just had an email from ASB Bank telling me uh, that my bank had uh, been defrauded and I gave them my Indian telephone number and they rang me straight back and they said there had been 40 um, different transactions in the last half an hour and uh, they've taken over $500 out of the account. So they've now stopped, stopped, the, uh, stopped that and turned it off and uh, what I didn't realise is is that you can turn on and off online transactions on your app, your ASB app. So uh, what I would suggest is that you understand uh, those things and turn those on and off. Because now what needs to happen is to get a refund of this money, they have to do an, in, an international investigation. And they also have to stop my card, which means that I have to get a new card. Now, being in India, that then becomes difficult because I don't have an address. So, uh, the international place has uh, places where we can go and maybe pick up a card, but that will take um, over a week or so. And obviously, in a week's time, we'll be on the other side of the country. And that will give some more logistics involved in trying to find a card. Luckily, Helen's card is not breached. It could be to do with the apps I've used to buy train tickets and the lady said that uh, the companies don't tell anybody when they've been hacked because obviously they don't want you to know that it's a place that can be hacked. 
um, fun and games on Monday morning already. Just lost five hundred dollars out of our account. It's very calm <laughs> having lost five hundred dollars uh, from our bank. I was just laughing in an ironic way that 20 years ago when I travelled before <coughs> I had a bum bag and traveller's checks and <laughs> didn't have any of these problems with online transactions and bank cards and uh, internet banking and like apps and things like that that <coughs> breach your card. Life was much more simple then. I just had a watch around my belly all the time. <laughs> Here we are on the beach in Goa. We've just um, got one of these boats sit on tops and we've uh, gone up the river. I'm in the back here. Helen's just uh, paddling in the front there. Being a little tourist. Don't have to do any paddling. Of course she doesn't know this. She can't see me. Glassy, glassy, because it was early morning. And, and saw lots of kingfishers, amazing kingfishers with blue black backs, and then one of them turned round and had the brightest orange chest. Uh, I think I might have seen an otter, but it was not confirmed, so I don't know. Because I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we came back and we went around the island that we walked around uh, a couple of days ago. We walked around this island a couple of days ago illegally. Lots of uh, signs saying don't go, snakes and monkeys and all sorts of guard dogs. Anyway, it was fine. <laughs> Hello! We're on an adventure. Sharks! I know, you almost want to put my leg up and go. <laughs> uh, quite choppy around the back there. And then we came in and did a little bit of surfing. And then we saw... We saw dolphins! We were quite close to some dolphins. There was a couple of dolphins. One of them was a grey bottle nose, and I saw it kind of go over, and so I saw its nose. And then there was a black one, which I think must have been something different, but I don't know. And yeah, so we saw a few. We don't know how many we saw because they were sometimes close and sometimes far away. So it might have been two different lots. So we were going to have an hour. We had an hour and a half. An hour and a half. And we did surfing so and stood up at the front. Yay. Well, I had one go standing up at the front. You said twice. Oh, twice. <laughs> I had to jump, jump and bail the first time. <laughs> the last one was a big surf, so we just kind of like <laughs> stayed in. Time for coffee and breakfast. Breakfast! I've never seen a mobile tower before. Like a mobile library, but it's really great. Today is Holly, which is the festival of colours and this marks the beginning of spring uh, in the Hindu calendar. It's a big celebration in India, mainly up in the north and we seem to have come to the only place in India. Well, Goa is predominantly Christian and also there's a lot of Muslims here uh, as part of the tourism industry and generally this is quite a low-key resort so we bought new t-shirts, white t-shirts, <laughs> new shorts and sunglasses so we could protect ourselves when we went out. Chris looks a honey in his. And we went out this morning, not a sausage. <laughs> Highly disappointed, but did come back and there were two other uh, guys on the beach who had obviously got into the full swing of things so they completely caked us in, um, in the paint. So we went into the sea, washed, it, washed ourselves off, and then came back. And then we've seen kids and a few people walking around with uh, the paint and the holly um, and saying happy holly to people. And then also, I had a couple of ladies came up to me who gave me this delightful look, but then wanted money. Uh, so it's pretty low key here. I'm a mixture of disappointed and relieved. I didn't want to do it in Mumbai, but I feel like. 
would have been a good thing to do, but anyway. Next time. Next time in Christchurch. <laughs>
love a night on the beach before we go back into it. 